Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, May 24, 2024. I pray that you are in good spirit this morning and I pray that you are in good health. May the Lord continue to be with you and may he continue to pour out his spirit upon your life as you continue to look to him for guidance. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, reading from verse 17 to 18, and it says, For our light affection, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for another portion of his word. And so we are reminded this morning that the things that we go through in life, the things that we see, the things that we seek to acquire in this life, all of them is temporary. It says that what? These light affections the trials that you and I go through right now, they might seem difficult to bear. They might seem overwhelming. But not to look on that factor, but to focus on the fact that when the Lord comes, our reward will be greater than our trials. And so he admonishes us and he encourages us this morning that what? These afflictions that we endure on a daily basis they are puny compared to what you will receive when it's all said and done and so just for a moment we would have to endure them it won't be forever so you won't have to endure sickness forever you won't have to experience death forever you won't have to experience all of these discomfort forever it's all just for a moment. And so let us look at the reward at the end and not to focus on what you and I are experiencing. And I know it's a difficult pill to swallow, but the reality is you and I can't change the situation. There's nothing that you and I do in terms of worrying about what we are enduring can change our situation the only one who can change our situation is god and if he is allowing you to go through that situation or to experience it it's because he have confidence in you and more so confidence in his power and his ability to help you through your trials so just keep going forward as i say and so let us not focus on the things that we see because our eyes can deceive us, our eyes can distract us and shift our attention from what we really need to focus on, which are those things which we don't see yet, those things that are eternal, those things that we can only see now with our spiritual eyes. Because when you think about heaven, when you think about the fact that there will be no death there, sin will be eradicated from the universe once and for all. It's going to be all joy and peace and bliss forevermore. The experiences that we will receive there, it's incomparable to what we are seeing in this world today. This world is full of misery, suffering, pain, disappointment, sadness, and the list goes on. But as the reading says, it is just for a moment. And as the saying goes, you might just be giving up at the end of your breakthrough. When it's all said and done, when God is about to work wonders in your life, when he's about to work a miracle for you, when he's about to come through for you, when he's about to do something marvelous for you. And at that point, you may be considering to give up, not knowing that it is the moment of your breakthrough. And so because you don't know for sure 
that your moment is that time, it makes sense to keep holding on until your time come. Keep moving forward until the experience of victory is realized in your life because God will not disappoint you. God has never failed and he said that not one word will return to him void. And so we need to look at things with our spiritual eyes. We need to look at things with faith. We need to believe and to trust in God and his words because he said that one of these days is going to make it all better. And I am looking forward to that day. And I pray that as you look towards that day, that your faith will only get stronger and stronger with each and every day until your blessing comes. God bless you and keep on keeping on. Amen.